Lesson 39, Introduction to Fractions. So far in this course, we've only learned about whole numbers, but sometimes we need to talk about a part of something instead of the whole. For example, if two college roommates were going to share a pepperoni pizza, each roommate should get half of the pizza, right? Well, the way to write that in math is with the fraction 1 over 2. That's how we describe what each roommate should get. The bottom number is called the denominator, and it tells how many equal pieces the pizza has been divided into, and the top number is called the numerator. It tells how many pieces you or the person you're talking about will have. Since each roommate should get one of the two pieces, if they're going to share, the numerator has to be one. Now, in some fractions, the numerator is bigger than one. For example, this pan of brownies has been cut into three pieces, and the person who made it plans to give away two of the pieces, the ones that are shaded. What fraction of the brownies is the person planning to give away? Go ahead and type in the answer. Exactly right. Here's another example. Imagine that a chef cut a casserole into six equal pieces, but the dinner guests only ate five of those. What fraction of the casserole did the guests eat? You got it. One other thing you should know is that when we're reading or saying the name of a fraction, we always go from top to bottom. So the last fraction that we talked about, 5 over 6, is pronounced 5 6. And if the fraction had been 3 over 4, we would have pronounced that 3 fourths. The fraction in our pizza example is pronounced one-half, but you probably already knew that. Finally, you should also know that we don't use fractions just to describe things that we cut into pieces, like pizzas or casseroles. We can also use fractions to stand for a part of a group. Let's say that Joey has eight marbles and seven of them are blue. What fraction of the marbles are blue? Bingo. So seven-eighths of the marbles are blue. Fractions are used in so many different situations, we couldn't possibly cover them all in one lesson. But the main point is that the bottom of a fraction, the denominator, that tells how many pieces the whole is divided into. And the top of the fraction, the numerator, that tells how many pieces are being counted.